Hey there, all of my Pisces people out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot card forecasts for the week starting September 1st, 2024. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website, integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. So what's going on when it comes to your astrology and the weather report for this week? Well, on the second, we've got a glorious new moon in Virgo, your seventh house of partnerships and closest personal connections. So this is the best friend, the boyfriend, girlfriend, the uh, husband, wife, the roommate, the business partner, uh, the closest companion. And when we have a new moon in the seventh house, this can spell a new beginning for a close connection or a an important connection in your life, something that is actually going through a powerful phase change or evolution, or this could indicate for those of you who are looking, if you're looking for new friends or you're looking for a new romantic partner or you're looking for a new business partner, the arrival of that individual over the course of this coming two weeks, the two weeks starting on the second. A new moon, however, is a new commitment, and this could even spell for familiar faces new commitments, new stories, and new ways of getting along, but all of it looks to be gorgeous. On the 6th, however, we've got Mercury in Leo, square to Uranus, retrograde in Taurus. And so this is a conflict of interest kind of energy, and Uranus will have recently turned retrograde uh, in, uh, in, in Taurus at that time. I'll do a special video about that here soon. But with Uranus retrograde and Mercury in a square, this is creating a conflict of interest between your work sector, your life organization sector, and your sector of commitments, obligations, pacts, promises, and contracts. And there is likely going to be something that is coming up here where you are actually very happy about some kind of personal win, either in your social life or as it relates to a professional or enterprise or financial goal or uh, aspiration that you are looking to put more energy into. But it's coming into a clash with an association or an obligation or contract that is still running in your life. This could be something related to an account, um, some kind of organization, or even a person. And so you are going to need to be ready to navigate that high strong energy and do some forced adjustments if you want to cash in. So that is what I've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Pisces, let's have a look and see what's going on with that tarot traffic. And it looks like for your earth sector, when it comes to your work, job, and finances, you've got the Four of Cups reversed. The Four of Cups reverse is a really good reverse card because this is all about things getting shook up out of a rut where they need to be the most. A lot of the times this card can show up in the form of an inconvenient blessing or a blessing that shows up with odd timing. This could be some kind of win that disrupts plans or maybe throws your itinerary for your week a bit off, but it's certainly something you want to make, avail make yourself available for. This could be an adjustment to a project, a role, a title, or maybe even some kind of unexpected financial win coming your way, but it does take you out of your way. For your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, your air sector, you've got the Page of Cups reversed. And this week, there could be some issues coming up around somebody that is not getting the hint uh, or somebody that is trying to go about, go about getting into your good graces the wrong way. When we get the Page of Cups reversed, this can often show up as uh, an intrusive influence, uh, somebody that could be attempting to worm their way into a place where they don't belong, somebody who's not respecting boundaries. Uh, possibly yes, somebody, you know, being a bit nosy or even stalkerish to a certain degree, and you're going to have to be ready to lay down the law. With the Page of Cups reversed, this can often even show up where people are, um, you know, just demonstrating over, you know, superficially generous behavior or even um, getting a bit cloying, a bit clingy, uh, bribing, peer pressuring. And so this is not the kind of thing you want to hold around, because even if you gave this person their way, you're still going to be horribly uncomfortable around them, no matter what kind of behavior they're fawning with. Make sure you are 
clear with your boundaries here because this could be you don't want this person to come and uh mess things up in in in, in a corner of your world for your challenge this week you've got the seven of swords reversed coming out you know sharing information that you have been keeping to yourself uh, the Seven of Swords reversed is all about disclosure. It's all about reveals. It's all about things that we have been holding back that need to have us come out with it, right? Let the cat out of the bag. What exactly needs to be demonstrated? What needs to be communicated? This can be a challenge. Maybe there are some people out there that we have been way too nice with maybe there are some secrets that we've been keeping for people that we should not be keeping maybe there are some situations out there where we have been towing the line where we need to make it clear that that's not for us you've got to be open and honest with your communications here and for your relationships with love romance and partnerships your water sector you've got the hermit reversed and the Hermit Reversed is actually a really sweet card because this is the card of emergence. And this could be a week where an old chemistry or um, an old uh, maybe source of enjoyment or maybe an old pastime or an old status reemerges in a connection with a significant other. With the Hermit card Reversed, this could be because this person and you have rediscovered that aspect of yourselves, you and a partner have rediscovered that aspect of yourselves, or maybe it's an opportunity for a reconnect with something once lost. For those of you who are single or are available to new people, the, the Hermit card reversed indicates the opportunity to connect with somebody that has maybe been a bit of a hermit or a wallflower or just out of reach or out of sight, whether we knew they were there or not. And finally, for your advice or your themes, you for your or the spiritual themes of the week that give you the advice, <laughs> you've got the King of Pentacles upright. Um, so with the King of Pentacles, when it comes to advice, this is the time where we need to be ready to throw our weight, our investments, our time and our energy at the things that actually speak to our core. When we have the King of Pentacles upright, it's also important to pay close attention to where we need to be ready to um, start shifting attention from maybe maintaining uh, the status that we have and shifting it into investing it into the future that we want. Now that can be with our social interactions, it could be how we are handling our work and our money, how we are handling relationships. But with the King of Pentacles upright, this is the card of established prosperity. And so your advice here is often time to invest in that, you know, invest in the future you want, not necessarily just keeping afloat the present that you have. So that is what I've got for you, Pisces. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.